Hi everyone, it's B Man Smash, and today I want to talk to you about feeders. I've kind of gone through all the different types of feeders in my apiary uh, to figure out what works best for me over the last few years. I started off with these jar feeders. These go into the uh, into the front of the hive, the entrance, the opening. Um, really simple. You fill the jar up with uh, sugar syrup. It's got holes in the jar. Plunk it in there. Put it into the entrance. Bees walk in and feed. Now, positive, I haven't seen any bees die from this. Negative, you've only got a certain bit of area that bees can get sugar syrup, get feed from, and you're blocking up your entrance. When you've got a hive of 60,000 plus bees, that's not enough area for them to feed from. It goes really fast. You have to watch every day or so and refill that. That drains down really quick. Then my next thing that I went to was the uh, frame feeder. So this goes inside the hive, fills up with sugar syrup. It's got screens inside for the bees to climb down and get the syrup. Negative, a couple things. One, it takes up a spot in your hive where you can have a frame, um, whether it be a drone frame to get rid of uh, apron bar or a honey frame or a, a frame for a brood. The other negative is death. I do find that there's a lot of drowning. Um, I just took this out of a hive, it's hard for you to see, but there's a bunch of bees down the bottom here, probably 15 or so, 20. So I find that I, I, I lose bees, and I don't like to lose any bees. So I went away from that. My next step was hive top feeders. So what this is, is a big pail, you fill it with uh, sugar syrup, you turn it upside down onto your hive, and then through these two little holes here in the lid, into the screen, drains the sugar syrup. And the bees congregate up here and feed off it. Again, a couple problems. One, if your temperature fluctuates too much day and night, you could lose like the vacuum that's in the pail and you could have a big drain of honey, of uh, sugar syrup, sorry, into your hive and drown bees, uh, even your queen bee. The next problem is it's a small area. If everything goes right, they only have this area to feed off of. So my next thing was is I built out feeder, feeders outside. So this is a giant pail, turn it upside down, I've drilled holes in it, and all the hives congregate and feed off of this. Pluses, no drowning. A negative, it's away from the hive, all the bees are spending their energy going to and from this getting food, and you don't know if one hive's getting enough versus another hive. Uh, also, I got ants, and they congregate and get into the problem into this, and what a pain in the butt. I spent some money this year, and I went with the Cirocell top feeder. I'm actually gonna be taking it off of this hive here behind me. This has been an amazing thing. It doesn't take space up inside the hive. It has five different feeding zones. So a lot of bees can climb up in here and feed at one time, a lot. And the quantity of syrup that you can put in here is immense. Also, you can refill this without having any bees around you. You can take the lid off, top this back up, put the lid back on. So really convenient. And I've used this a few times already and I lost one bee. One bee perished, and it's possible that that was just by age. It may not have been by drowning or anything like that. Um, so, it's a cost. I think these go for 35 Canadian at uh, Dancing Bees, the Cirocell Top Feeder. Um, I'll put a link in the description below um, with pricing and a link right to the, uh, to the website. I'm really a big fan of this, of this feeder right now. This is my go-to and yeah, it's, I, I'm gonna recommend it to everybody. Like this is the go. Now, if it's a cost issue, but you have lots of time, you know, go with a different feeder. You know, go with the entrance feeder. You're gonna have to refill this on an ongoing basis, but again, you have the ability to track how much syrup that hive is taking by how much you're filling these jars and how much you're putting into the jars. So you've got a good calculation. Only problem is, is you're gonna be out there filling these often. And if, if you have more than five hives, like I've only got five, if you've got five or more, that takes a lot of time. You're in and out on a daily basis filling these jars. Where something like this is gonna hold, you know, five gallons or whatnot of, of syrup. So you're not out there, you're, you're gonna go out once a week if that and uh, check on it. 
Uh, but again, you have the ability to monitor how much syrup is taking. Okay, so here we are at this uh, at this hive, and we're going to uh, open it up. And I want you to be able to see what I see when I open the hive up in this feeder. Um, some earwigs. It's empty. No bees. Um, this is locked on. These are locked on. The bees travel up here and there. So I'm going to replace this feeder with an inner cover. And uh, this is the inner cover. No screen. Access in and out. And uh, so that just shows you how good this feeder is. So there we go. Look at that. Look at all those bees. No death. No drowning. No problems. Look at that, folks. Everybody's doing great. This hive is just booming. But you know what I think I might do is I think I'm gonna put another uh, a box on top, a honey box. Put it maybe a queen excluder and a honey box. Or maybe I just leave it. Let them uh, feed away and uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of this comb here. I don't have, sadly, I don't have any uh, um, smoke. I didn't uh, I didn't plan on doing any smoke. I'm gonna drop this here so they can climb in. So I've gotta get rid of this comb, but this hive is booming. So let's get rid of some of this comb here. The bee right there, I don't want them to, there we go. How do you go, lady? Another one here. On this side watch out okay that's some burr comb we don't need anymore what we're gonna put is our inner cover on and then our cover back on top there we go that feeder worked out fantastically oh you know what I have here is I have a spider nest I don't want spiders bug there I don't like spiders spiders eat my bees I don't like spiders there we go feeder off look at that how convenient was that folks um, put our weights back on we, we always put a cover uh, a lid uh, weight on so that the lids don't blow off so there you go there's the feeder we'll shake the bees off we'll just let it sit out here they'll vacate and uh, and go back to the hive look at that within no time at all these bees are gonna be gone we could shake them off I just don't want them in the into the uh, the grass for them to get stepped on but there's the Cirrus cell feeder, folks. Works fantastic, no death, lots of syrup. It's a great thing. So listen, as we look at my bees here, remember, backyard beekeeping, everybody. It's a positive thing. So listen, urban beekeeping, let's do it. Backyard beekeeping, let's do it. Save the bees, be good to your bees. Hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Till I get up, time is barely on our side.